Hey there movie buffs, welcome back to our channel where we bring you the latest and greatest in the world of cinema. Today we're diving into the top 10 best 2023 action movies. From high octane thrillers to heart pounding adventures, this is sure to leave you on the edge of your seat. So grab your popcorn, buckle up and get ready for a wild ride as we count down the most anticipated action flicks of 2023. Starting off our list at number 10 is Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo takes a fresh approach to adapting a video game for the big screen. The story follows a young gamer whose obsession with the Gran Turismo racing franchise leads him to a professional driving academy. Gran Turismo makes some changes to its real-life inspiration and some of these serve the narrative at the cost of believable sporting action. Regardless of its accuracy, Gran Turismo still provides a thrilling final race at Le Mans and its graphic overlays are a smart way to blend the excitement of high-speed racing with video game fantasy. If you miss a line in the game, you reset. If you miss it on the track, you could die. Coming in at number 9 is Sisu. Finnish action thriller Sisu follows a gold prospector in Lapland trying to reclaim his prize from a corrupt Nazi death squad. Atami Corp's bloody quest for revenge is a boldly visceral adventure and the filmmakers clearly had a lot of fun can cutting different ways to kill Nazis. The Finnish word Sisu describes a kind of stoic tenacity and Atami is an action hero in the same vein as John Wick or the Terminator. Sisu is a joyous ride from start to finish, a loving pastiche to a bygone era of action movies with a deliriously gory streak. Moving on to number 8, we have Plane. Releasing in early January, Plane kicked off a great year for action movies, and we couldn't think of a better movie to do so. Gerard Butler and Mike Coulter were fantastic as Captain Brody Torrance and criminal Luis Gaspar, Luis Gaspar respectively. Plane finds Butler's pilot caught in a war zone after he's forced to land his commercial aircraft during a terrible storm. To survive and save the passengers, he must team up with an accused murderer who was being transported by the FBI. The action is exhilarating and of course pretty nuts at points. Homicide 15 years ago. I don't want to scare the rest of the passengers. I'm afraid you're stuck with us, Captain. Get them on board, let's have a good flight. Moving on to number 7, we have the Equalizer 3. Denzel Washington picks up where he left off in the Equalizer 3 with the very first scene seeing Robert McCall take down some mafia hard men. In Sicily, Robert strolls around enjoying the rustic scenery and charming the locals but the movie can turn on a dime and slide into bone crunching fight scenes. An eerie, fretful score reflects the trepidation that the local people feel under the thumb of the Mafia, and Robert takes it upon himself to dispense vigilante justice with clinical brutality. Is that a Timex? No, it's a boot. That's the median nerve that I'm compressing. At number 6, we have Dungeons and Dragons. The character in Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves represent staple archetypes from the tabletop game but the movie works as an epic fantasy even for people who aren't familiar with the game's rich lore. Dungeons and Dragons is so varied as a game, with each session representing a whole world of possibilities that a single movie could hardly capture its entire scope. But Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves succeeds thanks to its magic infused fight, choreography, and its delicate balance between action and character. Yeah. 
Moving on to number 5, we have John Wick 4. The most compelling original action franchise of the past decade showed no signs of faltering with its fourth installment. Donnie Yen is an inspired addition to the cast and his character finally provides John with an equal in terms of sheer murderous power. John Wick 4's shocking ending is a perfect way to round out the story, but fans will be keen to see more of the same kind of action. The video game style top-down shootout with incendiary dragon breathe ammo proves that the franchise has no shortage of innovative ideas. Sorry. Me too. Moving on to number 4, we have The Killer. Michael Fassbender plays a ruthless and meticulous assassin with a nihilistic world view. The killer is just as much about tension and anticipation as it is about brutal violence and David Fincher is the perfect director to bring his audience inside the mind of the killer. Fincher's camera follows each of Fassbender's minute movements with hawkish attention. Ultimately, he creates an intensely claustrophobic atmosphere with no separation between the viewer and an immoral murderer. When the tension gives away to bursts of action, they carry the added weight of this closeness. I find music a useful distraction, a focus tool. Coming in at number three, we have Godzilla minus one. Rather than the gunshots and fist fights that makes up so many of the glorious action movies this year, Godzilla Minus One is all about physical destruction, as the iconic beast stomps his way through Japan once again and emotional devastation. That's because the film brutally understands Godzilla as an allegory for nuclear war and the atrocities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The film is filled with trauma and shame, which leads to Godzilla Minus One having the most engaging human stories in the franchise. Now prepare for number 2, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning. Tom Cruise reinforces his claim as the king of the summer blockbuster once again with the widely entertaining Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. For fans of the franchise and newcomers alike, the movie treats its audience to death-defying stunts and adrenaline-pumping action in glorious excess. Competition from Barbie and Oppenheimer means that Dead Reckoning Part 1 didn't get all the attention that it fully deserved. But the car chase through Rome and the fight sequence on the train show that the movie's disappointing box office numbers are no reflection of its quality. Listen, I'm trying to help you! Drink. And finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, our number one is none other than The Covenant. Guy Ritchie is probably best known for his British gangster movies, but he hasn't been afraid to reach beyond his comfort zone. Ritchie's second movie of 2003, after Operation Fortune, stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Dar Salim as soldiers who team up to fight the Taliban in Afghanistan. Richie reigns in his stylistic instincts for the Covenant, making a truly believable war thriller that is still just as punchy. The relationship between the American sergeant and his Afghan interpreter gives the Covenant a surprising emotional depth. John, you have tellers approaching. And there you have it folks, our top 10 best 2023 action movies that are set to take the world by storm. Whether you're a fan of futuristic thrillers, gritty espionage dramas, or epic historical battles, there's something for everyone in this year's lineup. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you at the movies.